Bon, alors. Uh, this time, we are going to look at two of the most common irregular verbs. So they are avoir, that's the infinitive form, it means to have. Infinitive meaning it doesn't have any subject, it's not I have or you have, to have. And the other one is être, which means to be. Okay, so we've got avoir, to have, and être, to be. Now they're irregular, but they're very common. So you need to learn these. Okay, they don't follow a pattern, you've just got to learn them, but you really need to need to know them. So avoir, to have, the je form, which means I, I have. Okay, so you've got je, which means I. Je would be like that, but because this starts with a vowel, you can't have je, a, a, you can't have the e and the a together, so we're going to take out that e and replace it with an apostrophe. Je, I have. Okay, for you, have, we've got to, a, and for he, has, we've got il, a, and for she has, it will be el a. These two sound the same, but they're spelt differently. So you need to know them for writing. Je, tu a, il a, elle a. Right, for être, we've got I am, which will be je suis. Je suis, you are, tu es, he is, il est, and, oh, starting it in French, she is, elle est. Okay. So what do we need to note here? It sounds very similar. Tu es, il est, elle est. They sound the same, but they're spelt differently. And to add to the confusion, they sound the same as this one. J'ai. Okay? J'ai is actually I have. Tu es is you are. And they're spelt differently, but they sound the same. Okay, it happens all the time in English. It's not just French, which have has words that sound the same but are spelt differently. So, I am, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. They don't follow any pattern, just the same as in English. I am, you are, he is. Three completely different words, but from the same verb. So it's just a matter of learning them. Um, now you just need to think about when you're going to use them. So for avoir, don't forget, in French, you use avoir for talking about your age, okay? J'ai onze ans, okay? I have 11 years. Um, you don't say I am 11 years like you do in English, you say I have. J'ai onze ans. You're going to use them for your eyes. J'ai les yeux. Oh dear, my spelling's going a bit wrong today. J'ai les yeux. What colour are your eyes? Let's go for blue. J'ai les yeux bleus. Um, you're going to use them for hair. J'ai les cheveux. Um, let's go for les cheveux blancs. And you're going to use them for family members, pets. J'ai un frère, I have one brother, j'ai un frère, um, j'ai un chien, I have a dog. Okay, that's what you're going to use j'ai for. Um, être, you're going to use for um, describing yourself. Je suis grand. Or remember to add an e on the end if you are female. 
je suis grande, je suis grand. Uh, you could also have small, je suis petit, je suis petite. Um, and you could have it for describing your character. Je suis um, modeste, maybe. Nice easy one because it has E on the end whether you're masculine or feminine. Je suis modeste, je suis intelligent, why not? Intelligent. This one, remember you need to add an E on the end if you are feminine. Je suis intelligente. So describing yourself. Okay, and that's about it really. So uh, you just need to change your verb and your subject to talk about your other people in your family. So mon frère, my brother, il est petit, he is little. Okay, j'ai un frère, il est grand. I have one brother, he is big, for example. Okay, all right, hope that helps.